Good morning, it's six o'clock. Hi there, welcome to Daybreak on Friday the 31st of August. On the programme this morning, we've got that winning feeling again after a glittering gold, silver and bronze start to the Olympics. We're set to win more medals today. Yes, that's right, we've got medal hopefuls on the track and in the pool. It looks set to be a winning weekend too, so get ready for some more celebration. Yeah. Also on the show... I do think that they should be out of the door. We've had bad experiences with teachers and you don't get anywhere really. Getting rid of bad teachers will now be easier and quicker, but critics argue it's nothing but bullying. We'll hear your views. When somebody does not do the job, we've got to let them go. Is Clint Eastwood the secret weapon for the Republicans as Mitt Romney makes his bid to become the next president of the when USA? Every new wave of and no more squatters' rights. They'll now face immediate arrest and up to six months in prison. We'll speak to a woman whose home was trashed by squatters and also hear from those who say they have no other option. And after seven... Fazer has gone solo, talking to him about music, his new fashion range and his friendship with Kate Moss. Alex has got your Friday with them. Hello, good morning. We're waking up to the headlines that summer 2012 has been the wettest for 100 years. More on that shortly and obviously your weekend weather forecast. Mm. Okay, see a bit later on, Alex. Now here's Louisa with the latest news. Good morning. Britain's Paralympics team is confident of winning more golds today after a record-breaking start to the Games. It's taken seven medals so far, including two golds, putting it third in the table. Tiffany's at the Olympic Park. Tiff, a blistering start, but can they keep it up? Of rain. There's a new look today, break on Monday, and uh, today is Dan's last day. I'm going to miss you. Um, this is a little token because you've had some fun. So you're going to have to start unwrapping it, I'm afraid, because I haven't got that long. We've got some fantastic moments that you've had on the show, and I think you will feel that this was a really special one. I know you've had your eye on these cushions. I might get just a throw that in as well. I, I, he genuinely has. He's just moved house, so oh, you can have the cushions yes. as well. But this. There you go, oh. yeah, carrying the Olympic torch. Do you remember? Oh, yeah, you're absolutely right. That's fabulous. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, that is reflective, I think, of the opportunities that I've had whilst doing this show. So thank you so much to all the producers, editors, executives at ITV and ITV Studios um, that have given me that opportunity, trusted me and helped me along the way. Thank you, Kate. You well, are an absolute thank legend. You. Thanks to all the colleagues for helping out. I didn't think I was going to cry. Oh, so cry. Cause and thanks to you guys at home for accepting us into oh. your homes at this ungodly hour. Oh, well, that's it from Dan and I. Uh, there's a new look daybreak with Matt and Ranbury from 6 on Monday and Lorraine and Alid from 7. Make them feel welcome, yeah. won't you? Good luck. Oh, we'll have J-Lo, Little Mix, Gareth Malone in the studio. And now here's Kate Thornton. Oh, thanks, guys. Goodbye, Dan, and good morning, you guys. Join me after the break. And when we'll be finding out a little bit, we're going to be topping the charts this weekend. Dan Wooden's here with the showbiz news. And he's uh, turned from villain to hero. We're going to be finding out from LA why Simon Cowell has been 